Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at this multimeter that I got from Banggood. Actually when it first came out this caught my eye on one of my Windows shopping videos on Banggood and I've purchased it and it's been about like what three weeks now or something and it finally arrived. Now this thing was stating it has so many awesome features and it actually has features they didn't even mention which is pretty insane. However, there's one downside. The manual is in Chinese, so I've just been messing with it until I figured out most of the things here. But I'm pretty sure if I do a quick search online, I could find an English manual for it. Or just right being good. All right, so let's talk about this multimeter. So this one tests, you know, you, you could test your NPN transistors, PNP transistors, MOSFETs. It also takes temperature, and they do give you the temperature probe, which is pretty insane. And it takes, you know, it measures uh, voltage, and it measures AC, DC, uh, capacitors, resistors. Uh, what else does it do? Contentuity mode, and it also measures, uh, you could do some uh, amp measurements here, up to 600 milliamps on this side. It's fused, they do provide you with two extra fuses inside, they do also give you the probes and the temperature sensor, as well as a carrying pouch, which is pretty insane for all these things. So before we go into the basic features that it really does, that basically any multimeter does, let's see these super awesome features that this thing does, it's pretty crazy. So there's this little thing popping up here, and this is, it's saying it's NCV. So what I, what this does is it's pretty insane. Just hold a wire next to it here and it'll tell you if the wire has electricity going through it or not. So we're going to just turn this guy on and we're going to just press it here and then nothing. But if we go ahead and grab this wire, which has a voltage, which has a electricity going through it. This is very good for AC also and also works on DC because currently this is a DC current right now and just hold it. As you can see, it, it's it's live. So I really love this feature. This is, will know if something is, you know, if electricity is going through it or not, it'll detect it through that. So that's pretty cool. Now this also does have a backlight, but what's so cool about the backlight is when you hold it in, it also has a flashlight on the back, which is pretty damn awesome. I really, really love this. So those are just two awesome features right now. So let's take a look at the probes. Let's go ahead and insert the probes and go ahead and take a look at them. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and inserted the probes here. And for example, I had an issue or just I couldn't figure out how to switch or change the selection. But this thing actually figures out everything you want to do, which is could be a blessing and it also could be a curse also. But currently I've been using it and it's just been awesome. So for example, I wanted continuity mode. I had no way in hell to know how to do it. But all you have to do is just like tap this twice and uh, usually it would just jump into continuity mode. Now, obviously, like I said, like I mentioned, the manual is in um, Chinese, so it's it's very difficult to figure it out. There we go, now we have continuity mode, as you can see here. And they do give you an L LED display here when you touch it. But now if I wanna switch back to voltage mode, all I have to do is just grab anything. For example, here's a 5S LiPo, and let's go ahead and measure this one. So we're just gonna stick it through and put it in so it's 20.58 volts so it is pretty accurate the, it's it's about 0 0.03 accuracy you know, I've tested it with our multimeter so it is pretty accurate and it does have kind of like the analog kind of thing going on for it if you missed it right there up here so it's pretty crazy so if you have a voltage just going up and down you can also see it on the uh, um, the analog digital display if you want to call it that I don't know what you would call it so that's all set and done. Now let's just say you wanted to test, for example, a capacitor. So what would you have to do? Very simple. All you got to do is switch this probe to this side and grab our capacitor. And I don't have any way to verify if this is reading the correct values at the current moment of time, but it's pretty close so far. Hold on. So I'm just going to good grab on this one. So there we go. So it's currently 433 microfarad. So this is a 470 microfarad Rubicon low ESR capacitor. And uh, it also gives you that meter up there, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty awesome. It also tests, you know, you get your current sensing. It does have fuse. Uh, they do give you two extra fuses with it. If you want to do resistance testing, you would do it through this side. Just go ahead, you know, find your resistor and then just hold it in place and it'll test the resi resistance for you. So what else can this do? Let's actually check the temperature. Currently, I don't have anything that's hot next to me, but we could kind of take a look at it and see how it works. So we, we first thing you have to do is remove the probes here, and then you have to drop this down so that it gives you access to these uh, tabs here. And I'm pretty sure it does something in the software to tell it that we're going to do something here. Now, if you take a look at this, you have to find the positive side, which is that side for me, and you have to just put it into the positive here. 
One side will say K, the other side will just have the positive sign. So this is the probe and this does come with it. And as you can tell, it's 22 degrees Celsius in here and it can be changed between Fahrenheit, I believe. Yeah, there we go, Fahrenheit and Celsius with just the one button here. Now, uh, let's go ahead and for example, grab our soldering station. However, you know, it's not really recommended we do that because it does kind of have some electricity going through it and it'll kind of pick up voltage every now and then, which is not really reliable, but it does actually read temperature. So let's just try to put my hand on it. And as you can see, it's just going up 24 degrees Celsius. So yeah. So overall this works and you know, you could even dip this into water and then test how hot the water is. So that's just pretty cool so i don't know if i'll be using this probably using this on motors or something but um you know it's just a nice feature to have so you know that's going to conclude it for this video um i will be figuring out more features of this guy or more options uh, however i did notice there's a bluetooth sign so maybe there's a model that comes with even a bluetooth kind of support which is pretty insane uh if it does i'm going to look for it and possibly get that one also but um Overall, I need a new multimeter. This one looked awesome. So we're going to see how well it performs. And I'll be making an update video on this guy very soon on the channel. But overall, I really like it so far. But I can't say much. And uh, just has some crazy features in here. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're curious about that levitating thing, I'll leave a link to it down below. I also created a video on it. That's going to conclude it for this video. And um, that it just seems like a little awesome multimeter. So... Consider joining my Patreon, helping me document everything and supporting this channel. You can also use affiliate links down there. Those greatly support the channel. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.